hello hello my loves welcome back to a new vlog so i know i said i wasn't gonna vlog but i've decided i am going to vlog but i'm going to be selective about what i vlog i'm dressed ready for the day it looks like summer in my house but it's actually quite just gray and breezy outside but we have to create content today i've actually got some zara returns that i need to do and i just had one of the most exciting calls ever so i'm going to be doing something all day tomorrow that i may vlog i'm not too sure we'll see um but it's going to be an exciting day so i actually need to get an outfit for that think like a move of jade outfit pretty much that's what i need to like look for so yeah a living room is a mess because that's what happens when i get ready i don't get ready in my room or my office anyway the office is another story we're going to be doing some work in there soon we're going to be transforming that room because it actually is currently just storage and it's been storage for a while i don't create content in there so why is it there it's kind of wasted it's wasted so yeah we're going to be reinventing that room soon for sure i've got loads of jewelry on today and these pieces are from zara this top is from zara i do kind of wish it was a little bit shorter but it'll be fine i could actually do that I don't know but we'll see we'll see later and these leggings they actually come with a matching like um corset kind of top but i just didn't want to be like super matchy and stuff today i wanted to kind of edge up a bit i'm in the car park in westfield i just tried to do a return but the queue was way too long and i had no time so i did buy a few things potentially to wear tomorrow i've got the return with me so i'll do it in covent garden I'm with the stunning Lex, looking cute as always. This is actually where Lex came for her birthday, but it's really nice and chill and just stunning. I'm so hungry, so. Yeah, like it's a nice mood. I feel like I'm somewhere nice and warm. Imagine in summer and you're like out there, it would be nice, right? So yeah, we're gonna order. Ooh. Oh yeah, because it goes all the way down. That's nice. Yummy. So this I had these on my birthday, but they look different today. Today they look scrambled. They do look like scrambled eggs, yeah. <laughs> but they are really good. They look nice, yeah. though. They're lobster um, tacos. garden sushi sambal was so so good i'm just gonna take some pictures so cute that's what it's called and lex got a nice matcha so we've just popped into the glossier store and i've never come but it is so cute first of all there are like all these really cute mirrors everywhere making me look nice and then all the like skincare and beauty and stuff so so gorgeous i absolutely love it i just love the whole vibe and aesthetic and i understand why people come here just to like take pictures or walk around i get it i get the hype just everything the flowers you can just try stuff out as everyone is doing but i still haven't done my zara return which is here so i'm gonna do that now and then get on the train and get home absolutely stuff the food was so 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 good and i really like the shop i like that you can just sit here as well look at the detail it's so nice this color's really 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 cute colors everywhere so my zara return is done look at the bag i did keep a pair of jeans though <laughs> and then yeah this is just like my shoes and stuff right i'm gonna get on the train now and 
to get home, I've got work to do. So I come home to see my dog's water and food all over the floor and his bowl over there. Like, I just don't know what happened. Richie, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Hey my loves, I'm back home now. Well, to be honest, I've actually been home a few hours. I got home, I walked the dog, fed the dog. As you may have seen, his water and food and stuff was just all over the floor. Don't know what happened. And then I was on the phone to my boyfriend for like 45 minutes. And then I was speaking to his sister after that. And now my friend who has moved, Tolu, you guys have seen Tolu. We did a Nigerian food um, mukbang a few years ago. She now lives in America. So we've just been catching up on voice notes. And I'm like, I'm actually falling asleep and I haven't even spoken to the vlog. Sorry, I was just looking at my hair in the mirror. I haven't spoken to the vlog for a few hours. So I thought I'd put you guys on. I've got my Zara bits here that I need to try on and try and put an outfit together for tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then all of this, all of this is coming off, lashes, everything. I'm getting into pajamas, I'm sitting there, I'm gonna do a bit of prep, a bit of reading up on things. I'm just gonna zone out and chill out. Yes, so let's try on some Zara bits. My camera's flashing, this is not the time. This is outfit number one. So you can see. Okay, so it's literally just a satin set. Very simple, quite bright, quite statement, but it's very Jade Van Riel, like it's very, it's very me. I'm just wearing simple, like off-white cream, like sling back pointy shoes. I probably won't wear this necklace. I'll probably just keep the simple one. And I feel comfortable in it. It's quite breathable. It's not too tight. Um, my bum is covered. I'm like that. I like my bum covered in like professional settings. I don't like to walk around with my bum out. No, but yeah, I think this is look number one and I really do like this one. Let me try the second one now. Okay, so I really like this shirt. It's a little bit more fitted than the other one, but it still fits. It's there. Everything's extra small, by the way. These trousers give me holiday. I didn't realize they were like, they're linen, but they kind of feel a bit see-through, which I'm just not digging. And they're actually, they just look a bit wide. I do actually really like the pink one, but I just want to have options in the morning and go with how I feel. But this shirt is so cute. It's nice. Okay, so this could have been nice, but I feel like the trousers are too tight. Yeah, this has grown in the gym, so I just don't want anything too figure-hugging that it's just not giving professional vibes. So I think these trousers are a no, although the colors look really nice together, but you can see it's really tight and they just look a little bit cheap. It is 8.30. I have been having quite a nice relaxing morning. Obviously just calming my nerves. This might be crazy to some of you, but I am actually a very oh, shy, nervous, anxious person. But somehow I managed to channel it um, so that people on the outside don't necessarily see. So anyway, I'm getting ready. I'm trying to make sure my base is flawless and um so i'm really excited today um i want to leave the house i don't have to leave the house so early but i kind of want to just in case there's traffic and i'm not i don't want to rush and start panicking so i'm going to leave the house extra early today i'd rather get there early and chill out than rush and get there just on time if that makes sense so good thing is i'm not going too far i'm going to Stratford, but it's still the morning and there may be traffic although it's a friday and many people are off so it might actually be okay today and yeah there's just stuff everywhere as always all right anyway enough talking you guys i just need to get ready i need to just get ready because i've been doing so well on time and now when you guys get involved i start slowing down bye <laughs> and 
and I really like how I look. I look like myself. I look relaxed, but I still look put together. I'm all packed and I'm going to leave nice and early so that I can just have a nice relaxing drive. I'm excited. I'll catch up with you guys at some point today anyway. It's nice. So I'm just freshening up in the toilets, but I just had to show you guys the interiors in this hotel. Oh my gosh, and it's in Stratford. It's so, so nice. Look at this, I mean, oh, I love everything. And I love my outfit just pops <laughs> against everything. I love it. Hi guys, so excuse the quality of the camera. This vlogging today wasn't planned. It's actually a quick errands day and then going back home to take my hair out and do braids. Um, I just went to Westfield with my mum to see some Zara returns and to see her because she's going away for two weeks. Um, and on my way home, I'm actually half asleep. I've got my Starbucks iced coffee there. It's not really doing anything for me. But on my way home, I was like, I wonder if there's an Audi showroom close by. And there was one 10 minutes away. So I've come to this one in... Um, Chingford, North East London, North London, and I am just going to have a look at some cars because I think I want to get an Audi next. I have an idea of which one I want, but I've only really seen it in passing. So I want to see if they have any that I can like look inside of and take some pictures of and just something to motivate me, inspire me and get me grinding and also just find out like the pricing and stuff like that so i can plan whether it's going to be this year or next year or my birthday i think that's a bit too soon but yeah hence why makeup isn't great today hair is just whatever because i'm literally taking it out today um but yeah i just thought i needed some inspiration so you guys can come with me and see as well i love this color i think i really want like a gray not that one, that's a bit of a khaki-ish grey. There's another grey that I've been seeing that's really, really nice. It's a nice car though. Like this grey, I really like this grey. This is the grey that my, my dad used to have that colour. I love this grey. One day, there's a new one, I forgot the name, but I just want to have a look on the inside, it's quite nice. Not seeing it. This place is huge, but I don't know. We've got very much here to be honest. So they actually haven't got many cars here, but I thought I would just come over here anyway and look at this car because I'm toying with the idea of getting like a higher car or a lower car, but nothing like what I have already as a mini. So they have some more back here. Oh, it's an Audi TT over there. This one, I just feel like it's a huge family car. E-tron, okay, look at that green. <laughs> I wouldn't get a color that, car that color though, to be honest. Um, but over here, they've got, this is sold. This is nice, I just wanna look inside. Needs paint work. It's nice, it's sold, but it's cute. I like the interior, it's like red as well. That color is pretty cool. This reminds me of the um, Jaguar cars. All right, well, that was a fail. They don't have the car that I actually wanted to see. So I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to plan this a bit better and research where has the car in stock, <laughs> basically. Or is it just too new? I don't know. Right, back into the mini I go. Good morning. Yes, I have braids. I did them myself. During the bank holiday weekend, it took me like in total a day because I started like <laughs> like 10 p.m. on Saturday and then finished it off on Sunday. So that's really what my bank holiday consisted of. I relaxed, I made jerk chicken yesterday, which was so good. I have some leopard today and I can't wait to eat it. I finished Ozark as well. That was good. Sad time that it's over, but it was actually an amazing show. Now I need to find something else to replace it. Um, and I feel like I've watched everything, but please give me your suggestions in the description because sometimes there are things that I've just like forgotten about and then you guys can remind me because I'm someone like that. I need something consistent to watch. I like something consistent, preferably as well, something with a few seasons that I can binge because why not? 
but yeah i really like my hair i'll show you guys properly once i get ready but yeah i'm in a rush so i'll see you guys when i'm done okay bye i am ready makeup done lips are on hair didn't have to do a thing other than the little edges over there and this is what i love about braid life like i don't need to put on any straighteners curlers none of that just just go so yeah because my hair's still fresh i'm not putting it up you know when you first get braids and they're like a bit stiff although i didn't do them too tight because i don't like to do my own hair too tight because when i do I get angry with myself so but to be honest i actually really like them just down or just like you know like relaxed like that but anyway let me throw some clothes on now and get going i have to drive to edgeware i need to film uh an apartment showroom for a reel today so that's my job for today and my nails need doing well we'll get that done this week <laughs> but otherwise i look cute okay let me go because i'm wasting time bye hi guys so i just got to the development in edgeware it's really 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 cute it's really 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 nice like i would actually live here haven't even gone inside yet but it just looks really nice let me show you something i love about northwest london which if you don't know that's actually where i'm from originally is just how the architecture here is very old and traditional and i like that this new build development is actually in keeping with the area it's not too blingy it's not too new you wouldn't really look at this and say this is a brand new build which i personally like because like you've got these types of property next to it and stuff also it's by shanley homes and it's been marketed by hamptons who i've come here on behalf of actually so if you want like a real tour there will be one on my instagram as well so this is the front of the development it's really really nice remember i was saying it's very in keeping with the area as you can see and i love that <laughs> This is one of the bedrooms and in most new build developments you don't have two double rooms so this is quite unique so you also have access to this communal like roof terrace which is so amazing look at the views you guys as well as obviously you have got your own balconies i'm just going to stand back here so you can really see the whole thing but it's so big i'm thinking barbecues and all sorts over here it's lovely you also have electrical vehicle charging points as well which is also really smart and there's quite a lot of parking as i think i showed you guys earlier but it's really really good so the apartments that are available will have a parking space you also have bike storage which is so unusual and so so good i am now heading home so it was a very 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 quick working um, appointment and yeah i'm heading home now which way am i going actually i think i'm gonna go this way so i now have oh oh this road that i'm on are literally the kind of house that i want to buy but what is quite hard is finding this kind of property in essex because obviously essex a lot of the towns are like new towns you don't get as much traditional property as where i'm from in northwest london i feel like northwest london northwest london west london obviously and a lot of areas in south london have the best property when we're talking georgian houses victorian houses whatever east london is very new oh okay i'm gonna just drive down i just need you guys to see this house you guys know i'm actually addicted to like houses but i'm gonna just show it to you anyway because i am going off track but i just have to stop and show you how beautiful is this house you guys oh oh i love northwest london if i could afford to come back i would in a heartbeat so 
So yeah, back to me. <laughs> so I'm just literally gonna drive home. It's not too long, it's about 40 minute drive. Okay, 45 minutes, because there's obviously a bit more traffic, a bit busier, and I'm literally in Edgware. So I actually went to school, for many of you that don't know, in Hendon. Um, this was my old stomping ground, really. Um, I have family that's still living, like, locally. And um, I don't come back often, to be honest. So when I do, it's just kind of like, ah, oh, back in the day, I used to be around here. And I feel so old now, but I'm really, really liking my braids. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Oh, there's a Starbucks here now. Oh, man. But yeah, what do you guys think of my braids? Considering I did them myself, I'm getting really good at this. I'm really good at my own hair. If someone asked me to do their, their hair, I'm not sure how I would cope, but for myself, I'm happy, I'm proud of what I'm able to do. <laughs> um, gosh, it's so busy. Yeah, there's Edgeware Station over there. It's so busy. Okay, so now I'm gonna head home, open up the laptops and do a bit of work. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I've actually got myself a little, little part-time gig and this person's just gonna walk into the road, as they do, um, assisting an amazing woman who you probably see me post on my Instagram quite often, but she actually is like, uh, she's just an OG when it comes to Hamptons estate agents, so that's why you guys may have noticed on my Instagram in particular, me kind of being, showing a lot of Hamptons properties and things and my stories because I just have access to all of these amazing new homes these days. And I feel like as much as that's a separate job for me that I do um, flexible part-time, a lot of my own audience would, would benefit from knowing about these developments and these properties that Hamptons have. So that is why you're probably gonna see me share quite a lot that Hamptons do, just like today. The place that I just left is marketed and being sold by Hamptons. Um, so they, they definitely have a lot of quality new homes. That's one thing I would say, which I love about them. Oh, another amazing renovated house. Wow. Anyway, I need to focus on the road. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys. Oh, another one. I'll see you guys when I get in. I'm so hungry. So I'm going to warm up some jack chicken that I made yesterday. And I'm going to eat. Ooh. Okay, bye. <laughs>